we've moved further into the orchard now because you can see we're surrounded by gorgeous clementines hanging off the tree. I thought you could just plant a seed and then a tree would grow. You don't, it's quite hard work, isn't it? You have to it is. graft a cutting onto a different root. Yes. How does that happen? Well, um, yeah, what you actually do is um, take a cutting. This is not actually a root stock, but it would be something like this and you separate the bark from the, the, the rest of a tree and then you insert the cutting and then you tape it all together. And um, say after four or five months, it will start growing and growing and you'll be able to cut the rest of the rootstock. You can see the difference between the leaves in the rootstock and the actual variety that we grow in here. That is amazing. So this is a completely separate tree to start with it, it was a separate, separate thing um, and why couldn't you just use the stalk that just comes out of there to grow clementines yeah the fruit that um, uh, rootstock bear is is not edible is is sour fruit so it's not meant to be eaten and then on the other hand the clementines you can't grow them on on the soil because they wouldn't grow they're not compatible with the soils wow so it's a very very clever process so how long would it take from grafting a cutting onto the root to it being in a tree to, to bearing fruit? Um, if they bring it from a nursery like this, it could take up to seven years to have full production. Wow, fantastic. So when then the fruits start, I mean, I found myself some <laughs> lovely little baby fruits here. So we've got the tiniest little clementine there. Yeah. And then how long would it take from the tiny one to, to, to that one? Yeah, about around three months you will get from here to here. And then in another two or three months to have the actual size. <laughs> 